have got our work cut out for us on this one. I'm going to walk you through this project. This is not um, this is not pretty. This is a lot of cutting and grinding through concrete and working in tight spaces. Uh, but what we're doing is getting rid of a bad line that was full of roots and just basically completely damaged. And we're going to replace it with a high density SDR 35 pipe. So this is a bit of a disaster zone. Um, You've got irrigation, electric lines. Um, we have to go underneath that slab. And we're working in a very narrow space. So the whole line was damaged and filled with roots. And basically the solution was to replace the line. But there's been so much construction since those lines were laid. New slabs, walls, and so this thing is completely covered up and we're having to uh, get creative with replacing it. So digging a narrow trench, there's just a very limited space and everything has to be dug slowly. Coming through, chipping out concrete. This wall was poured after uh, pool equipment and drainage and irrigation were installed and so it was all around there. And we had to slowly, carefully chip everything away so that we can pass new pipe through there. Well, this is quite the uh, remodel that's the old system that we are pulling out and uh, a giant slab of concrete that we had to move just to do that uh, this is one heck of a job slowly but surely we are making progress on this job take a look at this this is just absolutely crazy so that is what we have to work around what do we have here? Electric line, um, lighting cables, PEX, irrigation, and more electric conduit. <laughs> and then um, shut off valves, and of course, pool equipment. And then we got to pass underneath that. Thank, good, thank uh, goodness for a boring tool. So, not the easiest job, I'll tell you what. So now, as always, we're just checking our level, placing pipe and checking as we go. And this is just extra complicated, but going up underneath the slab. The main thing is that we get this right, whatever we got to do to make the level right so that the water flows and that we don't have standing water in the line. So this is just part of what we're dealing with on this one. Going underneath that slab, tunneling, tight space, but uh, we're getting there, getting real close. We are coming right along, and what you see here is a turn um, that helps for the water flow. It doesn't go into the catch basins. All the water that goes into the catch basin goes down into the main line. Um, anytime you have back pressure from gutters flowing down that pipe, you want to prevent uh, that water as much as possible from flowing into the catch basins like such. And everything's tied in. Notice that water flows this direction. That's important when you're doing those sanitary tees. 
made sure that our level was right. One thing to note, we actually had to come back and dig a little deeper because we did a test and there was a little bit of water sitting in the line and that's the last thing you want. Water sitting in lines um, just asks for roots to try and invade. So we did what we had to do and dug some more, got the level right. Everything's coming through. Tied in. Looking good. Well, there you go. It definitely passes the water test. We are in good shape. That is some good water flow. And that's all we had to go through to get there. Well, that and all the other stuff. My goodness. But very proud of this one. Now it's just about putting it back together. And this is the last piece of the drainage system that we are installing. Just a simple channel drain to collect any water that might build up against that little wall. Um, runs into the channel drain, drops into that pipe, goes into our main line, discharging out. Everything's looking good. All right. Just putting everything back in its place. Getting everything washed off. And we're just about done. And as always, cleaning everything off. even uh, hitting the walls because inevitably a little bit of mud is gonna end up there along the way. Get everything washed down. And this is our channel drain underneath here. Collecting all the runoff. Perfect, invisible. Leaving the project like we would every year. <laughs> 